Welcome to Charts by Tradeway. We're going to talk about getting around in the platform a little bit, right? How you kind of navigate and work into this. So to do that, let's talk about what we're going to cover tonight. First of all, uh, we're talking about navigation, how to uh, navigate around the platform, uh, how to navigate around some keys to that. We're also going to talk about the score a little bit, introduce the score, uh, and then we'll talk about uh, some of the research elements a little as well. And then uh, we're also going to talk about the uh, brokerage account, accessing information from your brokerage, and also an introduction to the journal. So with that, let's talk about navigation. And in talking about navigation, what I want to share with you, and let me go back to the uh, kind of market page, right? So this is our main page where we come in. And again, by default, when you come in, you're going to be in the, the list view here. You can change it, of course, over to that tile view if you want to see it. Uh, this way, you also can control the size of the charts on that as well. Um, <clears throat> but so now that I'm in here, um, there's, and it doesn't matter what which way I'm I'm in this, whether I'm in list view or tile view. Let's go to the list view for this, and you'll notice here that if I click on a symbol. By the way, anytime you hover on a symbol, it'll tell you that if you're not familiar with what that symbol is, it'll tell you the name of the company. But um, I can click on a symbol and that'll take me into research on that symbol. It'll take me to the dashboard view of this. So I click on here on Apple. Here you can see the dashboard view. You get a high level of um, what's going on with the stock. When you uh, come into the stock or the, the watch list here, you'll notice that, you know, of course, we just clicked on the symbol, but I also have here my action icon and my action icon lets me do a lot of other things. Like, for example, if I want to get a quick little uh, detailed quote without leaving the page, I can do that. You can see this information here. Um, I also can go straight to, I can add an alert. That's another real important one. Uh, but I can also go straight to particular areas here. So if I just want to go right to the uh, chart or let's go right to the options page, right? I can click on this. It'll take me right to the options page, right to that. Now I, I mentioned, uh, I, we're going to talk about options in a whole nother session. So I'm going to, but I just want to see, see you can get right to that part if you want to uh, by using that, that action icon to be able to do it. Uh, you can also delete uh, the stock off your watch list from here. You can also uh, initiate a buy or sell right from here as well. But the other thing on here is the score. Now, the score is, um, uh, I'm going to talk about the score in just a second, but I want to talk about from a navigation standpoint. So the score, this is uh, technical. So that's the first one here is charting, technical analysis, right? The next one here is, is a little circle, inner circle, institutional activity and insider activity. Insiders are um, key employees in the company or directors, that type of thing. Uh, the next area, the next two are actually both in fundamentals. Uh, however, uh, what we do here is we break it out into valuation, which are key ratios, and then actual uh, fundamentals, the numbers and, and what's happened with that. Right? Um, but in this, if I want to go straight to a particular place, like so I'm looking at Apple, I just want to go right to the chart. I can just simply click on that score icon. It'll take me right over to the chart for, uh, for Apple. So it, it makes it real easy to get exactly where you want to go. Um, and that works no matter where you are on the platform. So I'm in, I'm in this, right? I'm in this page and you'll notice up here, I still have my score. If I want to go to fundamentals, I could actually click on the fundamentals icon and it will take me to the fundamentals page. So I have the tabs up here I can use as well, but the point is no matter where you're at, and that includes if I'm on, um, uh, you know, if I'm on a particular scan or, uh, uh, the screener, or I, I, you know, let's take the calendar, for example, here, here's so an earnings calendar, I happen to have dividends up right now. So earnings, dividends and stock splits. And I go, Oh, well, this is kind of interesting. Um, what's, uh, what's going on here with um, Avalon Bay communication or communities, I can just again, go right to whatever part I want to go to right on that. So it makes it a little bit quicker to navigate to the exact point that you want, and getting around in the platform. Right. So, um, so we have basically right here, six points of navigation. You've got your action icon with a lot of choices on that. The symbol itself, which will take you to that dashboard page or the score for technicals, inner circle, valuation and fundamentals. And it'll take you directly to that part of uh, the research on that.
right? So um, the next area we want to talk about now, we're talking about the score is navigation. Let me just talk about the score at a high level for, uh, for just a moment. So the best way to do that, of course, is let's go into the stock. And, and in this case, we'll, we'll choose Apple here again. And what I have here is the, here's the score, but we also can see it in this. And what we do with the score, there's no secret hidden thing here. We tell you exactly what we're looking at. Here's technical analysis. Right now it's green. And what we're looking at in this is that we have MACD right now is actually kind of uh, in the red a little bit. Um, RSI, uh, relative strength index is neutral, but we have a lot of momentum going on. Um, what this represents here is the stocks above the five day moving average is above the 15 day. The five days above the 21 days. So in other words, the one week is above the one month and then another 15 day over the 50 days. So all of this is showing very bullish. Um, so we're seeing that run uh, if we, you know, so we get that kind of high level. And of course, if I want to go in and look at more of it, I can go in and do that and be able to see it in, uh, in more detail uh, if I want to. Um, but, you know, what we're looking at here is the technical, right? The next area is inner circle. That's what the insiders are doing and what the institutions are doing right now. That's kind of neutral, right? So um, you're, you're seeing here some different areas where insiders are kind of neutral. Ownership is neutral. There's a little bit um, more seller than buyer stuff going on. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's a little bit more seller than buyer stuff going on. So that's why that's red. But, um, you know, if you roll up the whole thing, it still ends up into a neutral uh, position. Right. And then we have valuation and fundamentals. Again, these are really both fundamentals. This is more of the key ratios part like PE, PEG, price to book, and so on. So it gives you the ability to see that at a high level. Now, let me just mention this score is in this order for a reason. Um, the, the shortest term impact is going to be that of the um, uh, uh, technical analysis, right? Then the inner circle, which is a lot of the inner circle institutions and that drive the stock, right? So the, we can see that that has an impact on it. And then uh, valuation, which is really what the current price of the stock is compared to its fundamentals to see if it's over undervalued. Right? And then um, of course, the fundamentals themselves, that's, you know, earnings and that come out every quarter. So that's pretty slow every three months. So we put it in this order for a reason of speed of impact. Now, one of the things about the use of this, I just want to make mention of is that, you know, uh, people ask, well, you know, don't you want to just find all green? Sure, there's a scan for that. One of the scans available for that is, uh, you know, all green. Um, there's also one all green, but technical, but technical starting to improve, right? So there's different ways you can look at it. The thing is, if you look at technical, one of my technicals here is, is the 15 day moving average over the 50 day moving average, right? So um, that's a pretty long term flow, right? So I, I might want to jump into some depending on what I'm doing here, I might see something that's going on where there's a nice momentum trade, maybe technicals is green, but fundamentals is, you know, uh, red, uh, or neutral. So it really depends on what you're doing. If you're doing a short-term trade, you care more about maybe technicals inner circle. If you're playing a longer term hold thing that you're you know, uh, looking at, you might care more about valuation and fundamentals. In fact, you probably heard the saying before, fundamentals is why to buy, technicals is when to buy. So it gives you an opportunity to kind of weigh it a little bit different depending on how you're uh, approaching uh, the stock. So again, it gives you that high level view, but then you can go into any one of these and be able to uh, see more of what's happening. And just to show you this, there's a lot of layering in the platform that does this, but you can see here, we have growth, sales growth, assets growth, growth, so on, profitability, my profit margin, and so on, cash flow. But if I want to go into this, I can drill down even more. If I want to really pour into the numbers, I can go click on profitability. That's going to be the PL. Growth is going to be the balance sheet. So I click on this, and what it'll do is it'll take me in. And I can actually see the numbers. Um, I can drill down on that as much as I want. And we even color code them so you can see how that's playing out um, on that as well. So uh, kind of a, makes it a little bit easier to kind of uh, follow through on uh, what that is, right? So again, that's a little bit about the, uh, the score. Um, but uh, from that, I want to talk a little bit about the some of the uh, specifics and research 
Um, we've been talking about overview already. Let me just mention a couple of things on that and then go into charts and activity. So the dashboard or the overview gives you that high level. It also, you can see over here, you know, what the sector is and when the next earnings report is and how that's going and dividends and so on. You can see what indices this is in. Uh, you can even see what scans the stock is currently in uh, over here as well. Um, and then some other, you know, great information here uh, about this as well as that kind of, you know, 30,000 feet view of it uh, in a well-rounded way. But then from that is I decide I want to go into some of these areas. And I just want to touch on two here uh, today. One is the uh, chart. Um, in the chart, there's some great things that you can do in here. I just want to make mention of, first of all, um, over here on the, uh, the top left here, uh, or top right, um, you'll see here the uh, there's different chart profiles, right? Well, the the way this is set up, you can create as many profiles as you want. So I can start with a default profile. I can then go in and I can add whatever indicators um, I want to add to this. Uh, just for a simple show of this, I'll show Bollinger Bands really quick. Um, and it even tells you a little bit about what this is and what the default settings are and all that. So I can add that. So I can add some different ones in here. And then I can save this as, uh, uh, as let's say, we'll call it main uh, profile. Right? So when I do that, now what you'll see here is that uh, the main profile is available here. However, what we've done for you is, uh, and this is actually a, a, a pretty new feature that we wanted to deliver for you, where we can create chart profiles for you. Um, and uh, they'll be on this top part above the line, right? So if I go in here to the, the 10, 20, 50 EMA, right? And so I have this in here and uh, I don't have any lower indicators right now. This is the top, top level. So that's always available to you. The great thing about this is, is we, you attend our sessions and that what's going to happen is we've defined the colors for you. So if we talk about, hey, when the red line crosses up to the blue line, uh, that's a buy signal, uh, right? That, that you'll be looking at the exact same colors on your system as our system, right? So any of the system defined things, we're all going to be looking at the exact same part. However, let's say that you want to add some things to this. Like I want to go in here and I want to add, um, oh, let's just go add MACD as a, an item, right? Uh, moving average, convergence, and divergence. I can go and set my settings. Again, it tells you a little bit about it, right? So I can go uh, make any adjustments there I want. I can add that. And now MACD is also going to be here, right? So if I decide, hey, I like this, I want this for a chart too. Um, if I go to save it, what's going to happen is um, you can't choose the existing profile of that of, of the uh, of this particular one because this is a system one. So I have to have uh, another one here, and I'll just call this one um, MACD since that's what I added to it. And I can save that, and now that'll be in my list as well. But if I want to go back to, I can change the colors, anything I want up here. But if I want to go back and look at, because we're now you're in a class now, and we're in the class, we're talking about something, and we're talking about this particular one. You go back to it; it's going to be exactly how we have it set up in the class. So really helpful little piece here about uh, the the charting on this. And again, we have a whole section. Um, in the help center, there's a whole session on charting, um, as well as we're going to have other training sessions coming up in that as well. But just want you to be aware of that. Um, then the other one I just want to make mention of real quick is the activity tab. So in the activity tab, um, what you'll see is anything you've done with the stock. And um, one of the ways to show this here is I'm actually going to switch because this is a, a fresh system so I can show you this today. But I want to go over here to, um, uh, to, to here and let me go over to my, uh, uh, let's go to CRM. All right. So here we go. Uh, so what this is going to show here is all your activity on CRM. So you can see each one of these that I, when I bought, uh, when I, now these happen to be option trades. Uh, I tend to trade a lot in options. So here's a, the, when I opened it, the day I opened it, when I closed it, how long I was in it, what my profitability was. Um, and then I'm going to talk more about journal 
uh, here. Actually, we have a whole session on journal uh, coming up, but this is just going to get you oriented. Um, and then it'll also show you over here uh, based on these tags, right? So this is an expiration trade. Here's a bull put, you know, so, so it'll show you, it'll break down each of the tags and show you how you're doing in that particular area. Um, shows you how many trades you've done of that type, what your win-loss ratio is, average time in trade, and your average P&L, and then, of course, the cumulative down here, all just on the single stock on what you've got going on on this, right? Um, so really helpful to be able to see. But on top of that, we also do have our more detailed news, right? The Benzinga news, uh, the uh, general news, uh, stock twits, and hash finance, which again is a curated Twitter feed of uh, influencers around the stock, right? So, um, so there's a lot of valuable stuff on the activity uh, tab there for you um, as well. So, the so it's a little bit about kind of the the quick high level on research. I do want to make mention of uh, the brokerage accounts here. When you have your brokerage account added to the system. It will be available here. And in fact, you can see in this particular one, I have a whole lot of accounts in here, right? Um, and so each one of these represent different brokerage accounts uh, for that. And if I choose one of the accounts, immediately um, my uh, order status of anything I have going on is here. All my positions are, uh, are listed here uh, as well. Um, I even have a, a place for what's going on with my gains uh, over a period of time and so on. Uh, so all that's available. However, if you want more of a kind of full page view of this, the brokerage menu is always down here, always available for you. However, you also do have under the portfolio tab that information as well. So if I, for example, I go in into my positions here, it just gives you more screen real estate to be able to see uh, more of what's uh, happening there. So a uh, pretty helpful little piece to that, uh, to, to know that that's available. Uh, now, one thing I'll mention, if you haven't heard this before, is that there is this um, little setting here on your account that says auto journal this account. I do highly recommend uh, using the auto journal for the account. And a little bit of why on that is, is that if we talk about some of what the journal can do for you, I mentioned I can see the activity on an individual stock. However, if I go over to my um, uh, to my portfolio and my journal here, uh, to portfolio and journal, I can now see, um, and by the way, this is the life of trade view, a little bit different setup because what it does is <coughs> it combines things together. For example, here on Nike, if I open this up, you can see it has the open date and close date. I can open these up and I can see the very specifics of the trade, uh, including any notes that I've taken. You can add notes, by the way, anytime you want to, just click the pencil to bring up and you can type in a, additional notes if you want um, and all that. But, it, but at the high level, it also tells me um, day I got in, day I got out, how many days I was in the trade, what my profitability was. And then... Um, one of the things about this is that whenever you do a trade or whenever you want to, you can come in and you can put tags on this. This is a little hashtag expired, hashtag bull put. Right? And then what it'll do is it'll keep track of all that collective. And you can look at this collective for all your accounts. Um, you can choose one particular account to look at, or you can also go, hey, I want to see all my virtuals or all my real at one time. Right. But then what it'll do is over here, it'll break down exactly uh, what's been happening. Right. So uh, and there's all sorts of filters. Right. So I can look at certain tags. I could look at uh, certain date ranges, um, you know, and, and certain symbols, all that. And then over on this side, it will break down every one of those tags. Um, how many trades you've done on that particular tag, what your average profit is, what your win loss ratio is, average days in trade, all available right there. In addition to that, um, it also has some important graphs on here to, uh, to help you out. This will show you your trades uh, based on duration of time, right? So which I have this cluster around 30 days, right? So I wanted to go to that. And every one of those you hover on, it will tell you what the stock was, what the trade was. And then there's also a timeline view 
which will show you uh, compared to the S&P 500, how the positions have, have been going. And then there's some additional insight on here as well. Now we have a whole session just on the journal. So this is the idea here is just to give you a very high level so that you've got a little bit of an idea of kind of navigating, getting around and what some of the, these kind of, you know, at a high point, what some of the capabilities are here. So that's a little bit of getting around in the platform.